Good morning. It's June 5th, day 22 on the PCT. Um, it's like 7.30 right now, and I'm just leaving camp. Feels great. I uh, probably got 10 hours of sleep last night at least. So, yeah, all going according to plan so far. It felt great. I've got plenty of time to make it to camp tonight, another 30 miles or so probably. Um, but, yeah, this campsite back here was just gorgeous. I mean, it's probably nothing special uh, in the big picture, but just the fact that it has trees and grass and dirt around here makes it pretty special. So, yeah, we've got water in nine miles, I think. And then there's a few uh, smaller carries, a couple miles um, in between them. But at some point near the end of the day, we're going to hit uh, our last water source for the next 35 miles. This is a beautiful day. I uh, didn't realize how much I missed just walking through the woods. This is gorgeous. Here's my 11 o'clock view today, all in the trees. We're uh, going down to the water source right now. That'll be a good sight. Dude, I love California. Where else are you gonna get kombucha trail magic? And they had pineapple and watermelon. Man, that was about all you could want. It was, uh, this girl, Nora, put it on, uh, and it was another girl's birthday. That's why she was out here doing it. So, man, that was awesome to see. Good stop. Stopped there for like a half hour. Perfect time for a break. Good company. Yeah, that was refreshing. So, this is... This is it, the big water carry that everyone always talks about. We got 35 miles uh, from here to the next reliable water. It's a really shitty spring apparently, tastes bad. But the next one after that isn't for seven miles after that. So I'd rather a 35 mile water carry to some bad water than 42 to what's essentially town because it's, uh, that water is right at the road where you go into Lake Isabella. So 35 miles, one last big carry, then I think there's like an 18 mile carry the next day, which isn't really that bad, honestly. I've gotten pretty used to that. And then I think that's it. I think after that, the water problems are over. So that's really exciting. You won't have to carry water after the next, after tomorrow, I think. Uh, no more water carries. So, yeah, we just got to get through this one. I've got five liters now for 35 miles. Uh, that's enough to survive, even if it's really hot. There's a couple uh, water sources, caches, that you definitely don't want to rely on because they're in the middle of nowhere, and if they're dry, you're stuck miles away from the road with no water. Um, but I do expect to see water there. So I just grabbed enough water from this source to make sure that, like, I can make it 35 miles if I have to, but I expect we'll get more water along the way, and I can drink a liter and adjust the water I'm carrying, uh, as we go. But, yeah, if we get unlucky, we'll make it, so... We got camp in like 15 miles. It's uh, 2.20 right now. 
So that gets us in pretty close to sunset. But that's what I expected starting at 7, and I'm still happy I did that. The extra sleep has felt great today. I've had a lot of energy. It's been a gorgeous day. I've been hiking with this guy, Miko, for most of the day since the trail magic. Uh, he's from Finland, fellow vegan. Got a lot to talk about. He's hanging back at the water, but he's probably going to be at uh, the same camp tonight. So I've hiked about 10 miles since that last water source, and I'm still on my first leader, actually. So I was thinking, dang, I'm doing really good on water. I'm gonna have plenty. And then I realized I brought six liters instead of five. So I'm gonna be able to drink like a fish through this section. Coming up on camp now, I think uh, I'm about a mile away, and yeah, I had another great day today, despite the heavy pack from like 15 miles in onwards. Uh, yeah, I just took my bag off every, well, I've done it maybe like three times, and yep, yeah, just give the shoulders a rest for a little bit and you're good to go. That little section in the trees this morning had me really looking forward to the Sierra. I can't wait to be hiking in stuff like that more often. It was so nice, so pleasant. Hear the birds, soft ground under your feet because of the pine needles. Good camping everywhere. Yeah, that's, that's the type of terrain I love. And uh, I was gonna do another 7 a.m. wake up tomorrow morning, but uh, Walker Pass, the, the pass that you get to Lake Isabella from is like 28 and a half miles from where I'm camping tonight and it's a 30 mile hitch so if I want to get into town do my shopping get out of town in the same night and get back on trail I think if I leave at 7 that's gonna be near impossible so I'm gonna do my normal five wake up and uh, hopefully get get to town and do my shopping fast enough that I can uh, try and get a hitch back before dark because once it gets dark there's pretty much no chance that you're gonna get a hitch yeah I think this is camp for the night got a big Joshua tree and then underneath we've got about as soft as sand as you can expect through here nice and flat the wind's coming from that direction over there, so should be plenty sheltered here. This is going to be great. I decided to hike on the point two to the actual campsite, and I'm glad I did. Look at this thing. Get to sleep under that tonight.